Hey guys, I'm meteorologist Chris Tomer. Let's talk some mountain weather in the last of the storm cycle, uh, the last storm system now moving out, and it's going to be uh, it's going to be done. We'll we'll head into a new pattern. Here's what I'm thinking. So, this thing's coming to a close. It was it was very good for a number of places with heavy snow, but the last of it moving out of uh, eastern Montana, Wyoming, and parts of Colorado, and then it becomes history, and we'll start to build in a new pattern. I think high pressure comes back briefly across the west, especially further west, and then we'll we're going to see happen across most of the inner mountain west is a big trough of low pressure will drop in and kind of set up a bowl or a dip in the atmosphere with a buckling jet and that will bring in a northerly flow and a bunch of different cold fronts and just fast moving areas of very light snow there's one southern track low as well that will play into the forecast but i just don't see any big amounts of snow um, in the uh, the forecast, unfortunately, through like the 16th, um, I wanted to I want to go up to Mammoth Mountain, one of the big winners out of this storm cycle, and I, I figured it probably would. They're reporting anywhere from like 49 to, and they had a range of like 49 to 70 inches. I don't know uh, where the 70 was, if that was something, or they were just estimating, but I know the 49, I'm sure verified, but you can see what it looks like there after that uh, that incredible storm total of 49 inches. I mean, the sun's out now. I'm sure conditions are incredible, and this is really going to set a, set them up for a great Thanksgiving and obviously a great uh, Christmas as far as acreage and snow and base depth and all of that. So that's Mammoth Mountain right now. Um, here's the setup. I know it looks impressive with these low pressures lined up over the North Pacific, but it, it just, just goes to show you that uh, source region, the flow, the jet position, or graphics, trajectory, all of that matters. The amount of moisture a storm is carrying, all of it matters. And unfortunately, so the low hitting um, BC and basically Alaska, that's going to drop down as a southern track low and only bring minimal amounts of snow as it drops south. And then it kind of opens up the door for these fast moving fronts to come down from Canada into the Intermountain West. And that's kind of it when you're looking down the road. I did talk about it on my blog this morning, the mid-November pattern. Um, so, yeah, this is the final storm of the storm cycle exiting Colorado, Wyoming, and parts of Montana. And then we're looking at just light snow accumulations, 1110 through 1117. I talked about the setup. And an absolutely, and there are some of the, the final storm totals out to Utah, 32 inches out of this thing. 18 at Grand Targhee. Uh, Kirkwood 35, Brinehead, Utah did well, 25 inches, and it was just a gorgeous morning at Palisades, Tahoe. Look at that sunrise up there from high camp. Spectacular. When did it, it went into the uh, mid-November pattern here with um, basically what I've been telling you, brief high pressure and then a big trough. And you can see it. I actually put this in high res into my show, so I'll bring that up. But this is kind of representative of the entire time period. Um, so you've got these low pressures and the one down moving through the panhandle of Texas and Oklahoma. That's the one that actually tracks down through California, New Mexico, Arizona, southern Colorado with minimal amounts of snow and emerges out to the east. Um, but you can kind of see the jet. It's just like a big slide north to south with these Canadian fronts that will follow that down through Montana, Wyoming, Colorado and just bring very light amounts of snow. And look at that high pressure ridge anchored around Whistler at that point. So that's a drier pattern for sure. All right, let's go back to uh, the blog. We'll go into some timing of all of this with a forecast, a radar satellite. So here it is um, as we, uh, let's make sure I'm on the right source. Yep. So let me advance this into the future. Um, so here is Friday morning at six, leftover snow in Colorado exits. Saturday morning at 6, there goes that southern track low down through the Tahoe Mammoth area with very light accumulations, and it drops down into New Mexico and southern Colorado, and then it opens the door. You see the scattered blue coming south with these cold fronts through Montana, Wyoming, and Colorado through Tuesday at 11 p.m. Those will bring light snows. Here, I'll run this out for you one more time. So there's Friday at 6 a.m. There's Saturday at 6. Here comes Sunday. There's the southern track low, spinning south, and then it races into New Mexico. Southern Colorado opens the door. Here comes a little bit of blue, which is snow through Montana, Wyoming, and Colorado through Tuesday at 11 p.m. All right, let's take a look at snow. So we'll do this in two phases. This is, the, this is all of today through the 14th. You can see the amounts, <laughs> four inches or less in most areas. That's quite a shift in the pattern. 
uh, through the 14th. I, I've got 1 to 3 through the Sierra, 1 to 3 through Colorado, northern New Mexico, the Tetons, and Big Sky and Bridger Bowl. Um, here is phase number two. This will run us the 15th through the 17th, and it's really just more of the same. And if anything, it's high pressure blocking the West Coast, the Pacific Northwest, so there's nothing during this period there. And just some ones and twos through Banff down into Montana, ones and twos in Colorado, northern New Mexico, with those cold fronts, those Canadian fronts, bringing very light snows from north to south in the Intermountain West. So there you go, new pattern. Unfortunately, it's not going to bring big snow. Um, I'll keep an eye on it, and maybe tomorrow we'll look out into late November and kind of see how things are trending. Thank you for tuning in here. Always appreciate it. Take care.